So, unless you're some sort of superhuman being, you've bled before, and when you've bled, it stopped, and it seems like magic. It just stops somehow, like it's run its course, and now it's done, complete, complete. But how does it actually stop? What's going on inside you that actually makes it stop? It's all quite complicated stuff really, but it can be broken down into five phases. So we have vessel spasm, formation of the platelet plug, blood coagulation or development of an insoluble fibrin clot, clot retraction and clot dissolution. So first off we have the vessel spasm and this is initiated by tissue injury. A spasm constricts the vessel and reduces blood flow and this all usually lasts less than one minute. Boom, done, thank you next. So step two, form your platelet plug. The platelet plug is initiated as platelets come in contact with the vessel wall. Small breaks in the vessel wall are often sealed with a platelet plug and normally don't require the development of a, of a blood clot. So platelet plug formation involves adhesion and aggregation of platelets. Basically they gather and stick together and they do this by using a protein molecule called von Willebrand factor, which itself circulates in the blood as a carrier protein for coagulation factor eight. So at this point, you may have gathered that there are a whole bunch of what we call factors, mostly proteins, and each one is super important in the process of stopping a bleed. They can promote clotting, as in procoagulation factors, or they can inhibit it, so anticoagulation factors. So say if you're missing one of these factors or proteins, then you may have a bleeding disorder. For example, haemophilia A is due to lacking factor A, and haemophilia B is due to lacking factor 9. And each of the procoagulation factors identified by Roman numerals performs a specific step in the coagulation process. The action of just one coagulation factor for enzyme is designed to activate the next factor in the sequence, so it kind of has a domino or cascade effect. And the chemical events in the blood coagulation process involve a number of essential steps that result in the conversion of fibrinogen, which is a circulating plasma protein, to the fibrin strands that enmesh platelets and blood cells and plasma to form the clot. So the overall aim of the coagulation cascade is to form fibrin, that is the general endpoint. And the fibrin acts as a sort of web entangling the platelets and cementing everything together. After the clot has formed, clot retraction, which requires a large number of platelets, contributes to hemostasis by squeezing serum from the clot and joining the edges of the broken vessel. And then finally we have clot dissolution. The dissolution of a blood clot begins shortly after its formation. This allows blood flow to be re-established and permanent tissue repair to take place. The process by which a blood clot dissolves is called fibrinolysis and as with clot formation, clot dissolution requires a sequence of steps controlled by activators and inhibitors. But, 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 to be brief, plasmin which is formed from plasminogen digests the fibrin strands of the clot and certain clotting factors too, such as fibrinogen, factor 5, factor 8, prothrombin and factor 12. And this allows blood flow to be re-established and tissue healing to take place. And that's it. This video is brought to you by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service founded by John Hendricks, who is the founder of the Discovery Channel. And it offers over 2,000 documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers. This includes a show narrated by Stephen Hawking, in which he pilots a CGI spaceship across the universe, making stops at some of his favourite places and discussing the scientific significance of each location. Unlimited access starts at just $2.99 a month, but for all of you guys, the first 30 days are completely free if you sign up at curiositystream.com forward slash sciencewithkady and use the promo code sciencewithkady. Go check it out and tell me what you think, and a big thank you to my patrons on Patreon, and thank you for watching. Bye!